Hey, what's up everyone? So we are back here with Chain Chronicles, and so the first video I did on this was pretty much the tutorial and the beginnings. So we're going to go in here and show you kind of the meat of the game, which is the gameplay aspects to it. So uh, you select a friend, your friend goes with you in battle, they have levels, you begin the quest, you have a sub-party, your main party, and if someone dies in your main party, then you swap it out for a person in your sub-party. You have a number number five and number six. So if the first person dies, the fifth person is going in. And then if that person dies or another person dies, then your sixth person goes in. Oops. So each uh, each hero has different kind of quests that they unlock that you get in different towns. So you'll notice that that was a like a thief quest there with a lot of the dialogue. So you have to have that specific hero summoned to get these quests that appears. You uh, spin this little slot machine to get energy balls, mana balls, and the archers are yellow, so those are archer specials. They each have different cost, and you go up against enemies like this, and we're going to go ahead and use the archer special there to take out that guy. You can send your heroes up to fight. So right there we got two reds for melee units. The blue is like a tank unit. We are going to send him up now. Send him up. So there's archers in the background there. We'll go ahead and use his special. The melee units, when they actually do get over there, you'll notice that they will start attacking other adjacent units as well. You do want to try and clear these without using um, or without losing a hero. So that's why we kind of have our blue guy sitting back here, not really doing much. We don't have a healer in our party, so we're probably going to lose someone. But again, that is not game over. You lose if they get all the way to the end there. So the gameplay is actually quite fun. Oops. It's quite chaotic too if you don't have like three tanking units. So we got we, our guy died there. Fortunately, we're going to end up losing our bonus. A boss is coming now. So our guys just died there, so we have our healer coming out now. And we're in some trouble. We only have two archers left in our healer. Thankfully we have some powers that just might be able to kill him. We got another power shot. And so for some reason, he's actually moving forward, which I don't know why. He probably could have killed us if he just shot. He took down everything there except for our archers. You can see quite chaotic there. And all your units, they level up, even if they did die during the fight. You can add your friend to a, like a friends list. You get bonuses. So if you finish them off with a special, you get a special bonus. We got a time bonus because we beat the mission really quick. We ranked up so we get all our energy again so we can actually go ahead and do a um, you know, a lot more fights. You are going to have to sit around and wait for your energy to actually refill to go and do fights. Each fight costs some energy. So you can see we completed the stage one there of that mission. It looks like there's three stages there. We get some prizes. For doing that, we got uh, 10 prisms, which are the gems, the premium currency in this game. You can see the free one. That was uh, just, you didn't have to have any units. These ones down here, you have to have these types of units, or these specific units, before you can actually unlock them. So we can't do any of those quests. So we can head back to this capital city, because each city has different quests. So we'll go back over here and do this one. And this, the purple over here is a mage. I've never actually seen a mage, so we're going to go grab the mage. 
Again, this game just came out today. It is Chain. Um, what is it? Chain. I don't even know what it's called. Chain something by Gummy and Sega. So again, the very beginning is mind-numbing, boring. Uh, 30 minutes of tutorial, and we skip through most of it. But the actual gameplay is quite fun. You do level up your heroes. You do uh, equip, you know, gear on your heroes. So the mage is a ranged character, just like the archers. And you see, we're able to send both of our heroes down there, and they're both actually attacking that soldier on the side there. So you're going to have to figure out what all the specials do, because um, it looks like that right there did an AoE special for the knight. He's, he's supposed to be like a paladin, the blue one with the shield, and then the red one is supposed to be like the knight type. You will get more money for finishing off the boss and finishing the stage with the uh, special. You can also combo the specials together. And so if you save all your specials for the end, you'll do a, a big massive damage multiplier. So we'll try and do that in this next one, in this next stage here. And you can see this stage is a lot easier. We're not really taking much damage at all. Oops. Unfortunately, it looks like he's got a healer back there, so we are going to go use a special there. The battles themselves are actually pretty quick paced, which is nice. So unfortunately... Our guy died there. You do get a bonus for having all your heroes alive. And that one just got killed as well. So we're not doing too well on the uh, offensive front here. The boss is having a lot more life than we anticipated. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pop all our skills now. And try and chain them together. We're out of energy So when that fairy comes up, I think you can tap it to kind of get the color that you want. So you can see, unfortunately, we did really bad in this boss stage. We lost like three or four heroes. All our um, melee units got killed. We can go ahead and do stage number two here. Go ahead and skip that. It seems like there is a lot of story and text involved in, this, in the, the game. Um, I'm not a big fan of story and text, especially in the mobile games. They're just pretty generic and pretty crappy, to be honest. Nice, so we got all three orbs there. When you are dealing with the archers, though, you have to send your, your melee troops up to fight because they won't go on their own. You do get a little bit of recovery after each stage.
So he has an AoE effect, so we're going to go ahead and use his powers. I think he has an AoE effect. Nice, so we got the shield power. Gonna try and keep all of the guys alive this time, so we can get the um, all the bonuses. Get a hundred percent bonus. So you said there's a chain thing. Um, not exactly sure on how that works out. We did get a clear bonus with no uh, no deaths, but we didn't get the finishing blow with a special power that time. So we're only going to get 60%. So it looks like there's three little crystals that back there. Ability unlock you strength. The bond has unlocked ability revenge. Deal moderate damage to one enemy in front of you. So it looks like he got a new skill or he just got his skill. It looks like he either didn't have one or he got a new one. And so these are all units that we don't have. We can't actually go into those things. The taverns where you summon new people. And it costs 50 prisms to actually summon people. Or you can save up 500 and then you can summon 10 and then get one for free. You also get these arcane coins, and you can recruit with those guys. So we're going to go ahead and recruit six people here. So this is probably like the standard summon. And these guys you're probably going to use to fuse with your old heroes to make them stronger, most likely. Uh, you can see we just unlocked a Mystic Mountain, a new adventure there. Just huge tits. Crazy. Japanese people and their boobs. Alright, so they all have different levels, so different star rankings too. So we have two stars, two stars, two stars, one star. So this is the enhance. This is where you power up your people. And I would imagine typically the higher star rating would be a stronger unit. So we actually have a three-star archer right there. That was one of our uh, rare summons that we did. And you can see almost everything else is one star. We have a few two-stars in here. Let's 
just trying to figure out which units we want to use. And then you pick up these enhancers. So this is it's a red enhancer here, and this one over here is a shield enhancer. So you're probably going to want to put those on the uh, corresponding units to get a greater effect. And it's nice, they won't let you enhance and use your party members that you have on. So we can go ahead and select multiple at a time, it looks like. Go ahead and select three of those or five of those guys. It's going to cost us 2,000 gold to enhance. Let's see what this does to our stats. Nice, right, so we leveled up a whole bunch. We went up to level eight right there. We gained 346 life, 346 attack. So we definitely got a lot stronger. It took up a ton of our gold though. See where our shield unit is. So this one, eight hundred and thirty-five, six eighty. Well, I guess we can keep these guys for now since we don't really have any other um, stat boosters. I think I saw one blue shield enhancer. Because I don't really want to get rid of the heroes yet. You may need them for the special dungeons. I'm just gonna keep those guys for now. Since we have really no clue on what we're doing. Yep, so we just unlocked this new level right here. And this is the big boob chick that we got. And our AP is down in the bottom left. We can go ahead and do this one. We don't have to have our uh, our chick in our party. And you can see that lady right there is a five star, so it's a huge mage. So she's definitely really, really strong. We shouldn't have any problem beating this mission now with the five star mage. The thing is, I haven't seen any really mana, um, like purple mana things in that spinning wheel. So I wonder if like actually getting mana for mages purple is really hard to do, or if it's like super rare. Because I've never got a purple mana thing. And even his power or her power takes three purple orbs, which is a lot. So we send him up, and we can actually have all three of our range guys right behind. Just for a massive amount of damage. See, I'm not seeing any purple in that slot machine wheel right there. Yeah, still haven't seen a purple orb at all in there. I'm going to use his special. I'm trying to figure out what his special does. Okay, so it did a effect. It looks like everyone in that line, like the three vertical spaces, took 230 some odd damage.
Oh, so those guys actually took down our heroes. So we got a three chain right there. It wasn't allowing us to do a four chain, unfortunately. We did finish off the hero there with a, a special power, but we did lose some, some units, so we're not going to get the 100% gold. And it looks like the gold's going to be very, very important with all the fusion costs. And unfortunately, their um, their math isn't really correct. We just got 60% bonus, and the gold initially was 200, and they only gave us 260. So we should have gotten 320. So either we're getting screwed on math, or they just don't do it right. Do one more fight here. I guess I should probably make the, the screenshot the big boobs chick lady so everyone would want to click on the video. Uh, I, that's just, those things are huge. I still don't see any purple orbs at all, so I don't know how you unlock the purple orbs for the mages. You can also speed the battles up with the, um, the thingy up here in the top right. So if things are too easy... Oh, shit. If things are too easy, you can speed things up and go right through it. There's also an auto battle right there, which again, if things are too easy, you can auto battle through everything. Yeah, so it looks like anyone in the line that's in the spaces below or above him, the blue guy. And of course you'll have to figure out what each power does so you know how to effectively use them. But again, it does look like something um, worthwhile to play and possibly give it a go. How oh, nice we finished with a... And again, their 100% right there was not 100%. It was 400 initially, and then it went up to 600 for 100%. So there's something wrong with their math and their system of 100%. So anyway, that is a look at the gameplay here of Chain Chronicles. That's what it's called, Chain Chronicles. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. I will try to get more information out on this game, figure it out. Also uh, figure out some good tips and things like that. 